it. So to adjust up your height adjustment, it's just where it says press and you'll find I've moved it up so you can see the little holes where I've previously been and the tiny little notches where it's there that we're going to release. So just pressing in that, that's what will allow you to move up one notch and if I just push the bar up, out it comes into the next height setting. So adjusting your side panels is just by the ring pull, which is indicated just above where your yellow label is. Pull out and it will adjust out. And again, you have got individual markings here for three positions. Hiding on the back is your hidden pocket with your jack-to-jack -jack lead on the inside. Socket for your jack-to-jack -jack lead. Your recline adjustment is just the front bar pushes down lift that up and what you'll do is pull your seat right out until you hear it click into position. To put it back into the upright position you are going to use the yellow button that's here. It just lifts upwards pressing on the seat and what you'll find is that just pushes back and make sure again that that does lock out to push it back. To fit your car seat what you need to do is just put your seat belt through where the red routing is underneath over your child's legs through the routing on the side and then all that you're doing is just locking into the seat belt which is just located on the side here. Just make sure that you haven't got that seat belt anywhere near the edge of your seat so that it does cause a buckle crunch and making sure you have no twists or turns in that seat belt at all. Your shoulder strap then goes through exactly the same routing by that red part and then comes up to the side position. So you have your red barrel that's just on the side here. All that you do is slide your seat belt between that, just easing that round. And what you'll find is to have that locked off for a younger child, it just rolls forwards. And what you'll find, you can see like a little notch at the bottom here and also at the top, and that will stop that movement on there. And then when you do come to have it for an older child, all that happens is that just rolls back that will pop out and what you'll find is there is no movement then so just popping that into position as an older child it does mean that you have got movement on that and I can pull that quite freely